Sharon, can I ask you a favor? What's up, Marion? Can you give me some allowance? What? Pocket money? Yes, I've been spending a lot of money lately. How much do you need? Well, about $2,000. What? $2,000 is more than just pocket money, isn't it? What on earth are you going to spend it on? It's a bit hard to say. But you would give it to me, right? After all, it's your mother-in-law asking. <laughs> Marion, is that such a sudden request? Can you give me some time to think about it? It's not something to worry about, right? As my son's wife, you should do a little for your mother-in-law. Well, thanks in advance. By the way, is there any special reason? There's no special reason. I just want a little something. Then can you tell me what it is you want? It's a secret. I don't have to tell you anything, do I? Okay. But I'm a bit worried if I don't know what it's for. Sharon, you just need to do what I say. But... No need to think about it. Just get the money ready quickly. I'll take care of it as soon as I can. Please, do so. I'll be waiting for you. Marianne, do you really need $2,000? Of course. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need it. Sharon, you're really persistent. As my son's wife, you should just do as you're told. I'm sorry. Anyway, hurry up and get the money ready. Sharon? Tomorrow is the day. Is something wrong? Wow, that's a bit rude. Can't you give me a more thoughtful reply? What? You and your husband are leaving for your honeymoon, right? So I thought I'd send you a farewell message. Oh, is that what you meant? Thank you for taking the trouble. I'll make sure to get some souvenirs for you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the thought, but honestly, I don't have high expectations for a souvenir from you, since you don't seem to have good taste. What? If you're gonna pick something, better consult with Harry first, okay? What you pick probably won't match my taste anyway. <laughs> Don't stress about trying too hard. It's fine. So don't worry. Oh, well. So, about tomorrow? I remember Harry and you were supposed to meet at the airport at 10 a.m., right? Well, it's been changed to 1 p.m. instead. What? 1 p.m.? That means I won't be able to catch my scheduled flight. What should I do? Harry has an urgent job waiting for him. This is really bad timing. He said he just can't make it to meeting you on time because of it. It's such a hassle. It's his honeymoon, but work takes priority. Work? Well, there's nothing we can do about that. But why are you the one telling me about the change? Actually, Harry's phone broke down. Seriously. Trouble always happens at the worst times, right? <laughs> so he couldn't get in touch and was having a hard time. So I had to pass the message for him. So, if there's anything you need, just contact me. Oh, I see. His phone broke. So that's what it was. Thanks for letting me know. No problem at all. It's for my dear son. If the meeting time is delayed, we'll need to change the flight too, right? I'll take care of the changes. Sorry, but I have to go now. Oh, wait. The changes have been made. I already took care of them, so don't worry. 
What? You did? Why? I thought you'd be busy, so I took care of it. This way, you don't have to worry about anything else. So just relax, okay? Is that so? But that's strange. If there were any changes, they should have contacted me directly as the traveler. You handle the arrangements, right? Why didn't the travel agency contact me? Maybe your phone is broken too. It's so inconvenient when emails don't get through, isn't it? <laughs> huh? Malfunction? No, that can't be. This is a brand new phone that I just bought last month. Enough about that. Anyway, make sure to be at the airport by 1 p.m. tomorrow. Don't be too early or too late, okay? Leave so you arrive exactly on time. Got it? Yes, I understand. I'll make sure to get there exactly on time. Marion, something is wrong. What does this mean? Huh? What is it? The meeting time was 1 p.m., right? That's right. Harry didn't show up at the appointed time. He's not the kind of person to be late. I thought you might know something about this, so I called you. What are you talking about? Harry's already in Paris! What? Seriously, people these days have no problem being late for meetings. We're supposed to meet at 9 a.m., and you show up at 1 p.m.? This is why I was against getting a young bride. Um, wait a minute. Today's meeting time is 1 p.m., right? That's what you told me yesterday. What are you talking about? Stop using me as an excuse for being late. What? I really felt sorry for Harry. Having his honeymoon ruined because of such a foolish wife? Seeing him waiting all alone for so long? It brings tears to my eyes. Hold on a second. I'm sure yesterday you said the meeting time was at 1 p.m. You did say that in this chat, right? Oh dear. It seems like I mistakenly deleted the message before sending it. I can't find any message where I mentioned the 1 p.m. meeting time. How convenient for you. You're probably totally nailing all the latest tech stuff, huh? Just as I'd expect. But strangely enough, it's still saved on my phone. I'd like to learn how to use Line like you do. Well, what a sassy wife you are. I knew I shouldn't have allowed my son to marry such a woman. So, did Harry get on the flight alone? I don't think he'd leave me behind, right? You didn't cancel the trip, did you? You wouldn't send him on the honeymoon alone, would you? I went in your stead. Huh? You went instead? Wait, does that mean our honeymoon turned into a mother-son trip? No way. So, does that mean the $2,000 allowance was for this trip? Wow, you catch on quick. <laughs> That's exactly it. It would be so sad for my sweet son to go on the trip all alone, right? No, it's all your fault. You planned everything, didn't you? You're such a nagger. Anyway... I got on the plane in your place. Your honeymoon has turned into a lovely mother-son trip with me instead. <laughs> I see. So that's what happened. So you sent that fake message to sabotage our honeymoon, huh? You lied. What fake message? All the evidence has been deleted. I've never heard of a mother-in-law hijacking a honeymoon. It's like something out of a TV drama. You're really unbelievable. Normally, a honeymoon is a special time for just the couple. I'm surprised to find out about this. 
I didn't hijack anything. I just used tickets that seemed like they'd go to waste if cancelled. This is charity, so to speak. Wow, turning this kind of harassment into charity? I wish they'd turn it into a 24-hour TV drama. Well then, what should we do in Paris with this opportunity? Harry and I need to eat some delicious food and do some shopping. Because after all, this is a parent-child getaway. <laughs> no, this is our honeymoon. This trip is a special time for Harry and me. You shouldn't be there. What are you saying? <laughs> Your honeymoon is cancelled because you were late for the meeting. <laughs> I'll go have fun instead. I'll go by private jet. I'll arrange everything quickly so I can depart as soon as possible. I might arrive sooner than you expect. Huh? Are you kidding me? That's impossible. Let's change the meeting point from the airport to the local area. This way, we can meet without trouble and save each other's time. Please pass the message to Harry as well. I'll prepare right away, so don't worry. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you there. B b private jet? You're coming? Are you coming to Paris too? Yes. I have a private jet. It might take me a bit to get ready, but I should be able to arrive without any problems. After all, I've got my own private jet. <laughs> private jet? Why do you have a private jet? How is that possible? Only rich people can have them. Yes, I'm that rich. Huh? To be precise, I have a rich relative. The private jet is owned by that rich relative, my uncle. My uncle is very wealthy, and he says I can use it whenever I need it. He is very helpful in this kind of situation. Now I can go to Paris in no time. <laughs> rich? Relative? Uncle? Yes, my uncle has no children and he loves me like his own daughter. W wait really? A private jet loaned out like borrowing a book? I got in touch with him right away. It seems like we can fly to Paris right away. Great, we'll be there in no time for the local meetup. Wait a minute! If you come, you'll ruin my plans! This trip is a getaway for my son and me. Just us. No outsiders allowed. You stay away. Your plans. So the fake meeting time was intentional after all. And it seems like Harry's phone breaking was a lie too, right? You were planning to sabotage our honeymoon from the very beginning, weren't you? I never thought you were planning this so deviously. But your plans won't go as you expect. I've got my own countermeasures in place. <laughs> Shut up. Our trip has already started. Please don't interfere. This was originally a honeymoon for me and Harry. You were the one who interrupted our private time. Taking over a special time like that and then saying such things isn't fair. You should be the one to stop interfering with us. Hey, what's with that attitude? Don't get carried away just because you got married to Harry. That boy will always be my son. I see. You want to travel with Harry so much. Of course. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting for this day? It's not every day I get a chance to have special time with my son. I was so excited to take advantage of the honeymoon and travel together. You have no idea how much time I spent planning it. I can't imagine. P 
Please don't ever, ever ruin this trip for me. Well then, I'm afraid you will have to pay for the entire trip. First class flights, first class accommodations, suites. It's going to be a lot of money, but please do your best to pay for it. What are you talking about? My son arranged this trip. I'm sure all the fees have already been paid. I shouldered the cost of this trip. To be precise, my rich uncle is paying for it. He cares about our happiness so much that he's paying for everything. What? Please pay for everything later. Good luck with your payment. Wait a minute. What? Harry didn't pay a single penny for this trip? There's no way we can afford such an expensive trip. It's completely backed by my uncle. What? If you want to continue this trip, please pay for it. If payment is difficult, please make arrangements at the airport and fly back to the U.S. No, no! I'm going on a fun trip to Paris with my son Harry. It was supposed to be a trip of a lifetime. How can I just give it up? So you choose to pay? It's several thousands of dollars, but I'm sure you will be fine paying for it. Good luck. Several thousands? That's such a large sum of money. How am I supposed to pay it? Are you kidding? That's impossible for me to pay. Oh, I just caught a call from Harry. I'm sorry mom did something stupid, he said. I'll send her home at the airport, so let's meet there. Oh, no. That's great. I think it will be fun to go to different airports. Well, I'll leave you to it. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I need your help. Harry dropped me off at the airport. I don't know how to get home. How can I get on a plane back to the U.S.? Ask at the airport counter. There's no way I can ask in a place full of foreigners like that. Don't worry, everyone is very kind. If you are so brazen, you'll be able to do it. Hey, have you arrived in Paris yet? No, I'm still flying. Paris is seven hours away, even if it's a direct flight. Oh, so you think you could take your private jet and stop here? I need you to pick me up. I'm sorry, it's my uncle's plane. I can't just let other people on board. How can you say other people? I'm your mother-in-law. So far, it feels like our trip has been hijacked. Just pick me up. Let's just the three of us enjoy Paris. You don't mind paying for one more person, right? Because your rich relatives are paying for it, right? My uncle thinks of me as his daughter, so he's paying for it. How can I pay for a stranger's travel expenses? A stranger? I'm your husband's mother! I explained to my uncle why I needed to borrow his private jet. He says he doesn't want anything to do with you. What? It's not just my uncle. Harry is also very angry. I thought something was wrong when mom said she'd follow me. When I get back to the U.S., I'd like to discuss cutting ties with her. What? Cutting ties? You said Harry's phone broke down. Then you told Harry my phone broke down. You lied to both of us. I heard it from Harry. Well, um, did I say that? Maybe I'll remember if you pick me up at this airport. Oh, don't bother. I won't be picking you up at the airport. What? Wait a minute, Sharon! Sharon, please help me. Marion, is there still a problem? Actually, I'm short of money. 
What should I do? Huh? You don't have any money? Why? I thought Harry would pay for everything, so I didn't bring anything. Why did you plan so poorly? This is not the time to talk about that. I'm in real trouble. I don't know what you're talking about. Sharon, don't be cold. Then why don't you ask for help at the airport counter? Counter? They're all foreigners. They don't speak English. Don't worry, Marion. You can get by with gestures. <laughs> That's impossible. I don't have that kind of courage. This is a time to test your creativity. This is not an experiment. Well, Marion, I think this will be a good experience for you. I don't need experience. I need help now. This is the path you chose, so deal with the consequences. Oh no, Sharon. Are you really going to abandon me? I don't have a choice. Please, Sharon. Don't leave me alone here. Marion, it's okay. If you have a strong will, you can manage. Why are you so cold? Won't you help me? I don't know what to do. Then, Marion, I suggest you return home. Please go to the counter at the airport and ask them to arrange your return flight. Once you're back home, you'll be able to return to your normal life. I have no choice but to return home? Yes. For your safety, I think that would be the best thing to do. That's it. Please enjoy your trip back home. Wait a minute, Sharon! Please do something about the situation! After that, my mother-in-law was at a loss at the airport, frantically trying to arrange a return flight at the counter. Of course, she couldn't even speak French, so it was hard to imagine her struggling with the situation. After returning to the U.S., my mother-in-law was completely exhausted. Harry was also disgusted, and he warned her, saying, Mom, please don't ever do anything reckless like this again. My mother-in-law reluctantly nodded her head, but her face showed indescribable regret. He also added, From now on, I want to spend more time with Sharon, so please keep your distance from me for a while. Marion's face turned red when she was told this. Finally, he made her sign a written pledge that she would never bother me again. After that, I never heard from my mother-in-law again. We are happy to be back to our quiet and peaceful life. But I am grateful for the fact that my mother-in-law has made my bond with Harry even stronger. I want to strive every day to ensure that this happiness doesn't slip away.